Drafting a pattern for Dr. Martin's boots requires a combination of traditional drafting tools and materials, as well as modern digital tools. In today's video, I will give detailed explanations of tools and materials you would need for the process. Hello guys, hello everyone, you're welcome back to my channel. I hope you're doing good and I hope you're doing great. In today's video, I hope you sit back to enjoy this video with me. Let's get into the video. Measuring tools. When making Dr. Martin's boots or when making any shoe pattern, you need measuring tools, and there are different types of measuring tools. You have tape measure, ruler, French cuffs, pattern paper, and others. Well, tape measure. Tape measure is used to take accurate measurements of the foot and other relevant dimensions. Ruler. A straight ruler helps in drawing straight lines and measuring small distance. French curve. This tool assists in drawing smooth curves and contours. Pattern paper. A large roll of pattern paper, typically available in widths of 36 inches or more, is used to create a full scale pattern for the boots. Pattern paper is thin, lightweight, and easy to manipulate. In making Dr. Martin's boot pattern, you also need marking tools. Marking tools, you have pen tools, you have pen, you have chalk, and others. While pen tools are mechanically or regular pencils with different lead hardness, HP pencil, 2H, and others. These pencils are essential for drawing and making on and the bottom paper. Another marking tool is marking pen or chalk. These are used to make important markings such as the key points, the notch and green lines on the pattern. You also need cutting tools when making a pattern. Need scissors. A pair of sharp scissors is necessary for cutting pattern papers. Craft knife used for precision cutting and detailed work, especially when modifying or adjusting the pattern. Crafting tools. Crafting tools is the main um, tool when making any kind of pattern, not only Dr. Martin's pattern, but in all the patterns you need crafting tools. Um, L square or T square used for drawing perpendicular lines and ensuring accurate right angles. Compass Compass are helpful for drawing circles and X of specific dimensions. Set squares These tools help in creating precise angles and maintaining symmetry. Remember that drafting a pattern for footwear can be complex and iterative process. It is advisable to start with basic pattern and make adjustments and refinement as you progress. Testing the pattern by creating phototypes and making fit adjustments along the way. Remember, when making any kind of patterns, it's not that necessary to buy all these tools you can just make your pattern with only your shoe last your pencil your tape um your eraser for cleaning your mistakes your ruler and but the most important tools are just three basic tools your last tape and pencil okay so in today's video, I hope you learned more on the type of tools you need when making pattern. Not only Dr. Martin's boots pattern, but other kind of patterns. Thank you for watching the video to the end. I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like, hit the subscription button, and leave a comment in the comment section below. Bye-bye.